Hi, I'm Kelly Hertz, editor of the Yankton Press and Coding. This is our weekly um, PND video broadcast online. And with me today is our city editor, Nathan Johnson. We're going to talk briefly about an event that's um, an annual event in Yankton, but not so much uh, this time of year, be Root Fest, which is coming up this weekend, which is June 7th, Saturday, June 7th. This time at Memorial Park, not downtown. This time in June, not in September. Um, what was the, well, we are actually kind of familiar with some of the background about why they moved it. Um, what can you offer on that? Can you kind of briefly, for our viewers, kind of summarize that? I think, you know, Rib Fest is a, it's a volunteer affair, and these volunteers have put a lot of work into it, want to see it grow. It's something even bigger than it's been in years past, and they really saw the only way they could grow effectively was to move to a different venue. And you know, a lot of us were around for the 2011 150th birthday bash that the city of Yankton threw in Memorial Park. So I think you know, Ribfest organizers remembered what a hit that was. You know, it was a great venue, a lot of people showed up, had a great time, and they want to recreate. I think to to a certain extent with their own signature event, what was started there. In fact, it was also the same weekend, the first weekend in June that they did that back mm -hmm. then, uh, which is kind of interesting. So that's why when they moved Ribfest to this weekend in June, you, said you couldn't help but think back to three years ago, which worked very well. And so I think they had, that was served as a bit of a template for what's going on now. What has the city done to prepare the park for this? Yeah, earlier this year, Ribfest organizers asked if the city would be willing to contribute to some infrastructure improvements in Memorial Park, so some electrical uh, improvements have been done, things like that, that will obviously help Ribfest, but if any other events were to be done in the park, it would also help those uh, events as well. Okay. So this should be, hopefully, if the weather holds, and that's always been an issue with Ribfest, no matter when they've had it, the weather has always been a bit of an issue. Uh, as we record this right now, they're talking 50, 60 percent chance of rain, but that could be anything. And a lot of times around here, that turns out to be nothing, but we'll see what happens this weekend. Uh, the headlining act is Hairball, who was a popular band. They don't like to be called an 80s tribute band, but they are very 1980s oriented, and this is the kind of thing that if they had stayed in the downtown area, they probably couldn't draw a band like this. Yeah, part of the issue they're facing is in the past, bands have been, they perform on a, a pickup, or not a flatbed. Like a flatbed, and a lot of bigger bands will not perform on that sort of infrastructure, so by moving to Memorial Park, they'll have a real professional stage brought in. Similar again to what was in 2011. Right. I don't think we're going to have the kind of firepower that we saw in 2011. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because if, if anyone remembers Red, there were a lot of flames. Well, what I also remember is they had to go before the city commission to get uh, a permit for pyrotechnics, I think. And I don't think that's been done here, so... I think there will. I believe there's going to be fireworks, though. This oh, weekend, okay. right? I think I've seen that. Okay. Well, we'll see what if happens. If I'm mistaken, I'm sorry. Well, Nathan, thank you for uh, filling us in on that. We really appreciate it. And we'll be looking for you this weekend. I will be there. Okay.